I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm with what's your name? I'm not, my name is Sumi. I'm from uh, Houston, Texas, America. Wow, and first time for you in Medjugorje? First time. Yes. And how is now Medjugorje for you being here? Amazing. I'm so sad I'm leaving tomorrow. And um, yeah, the when I left Operation Hill, I was just telling my lady, mother, you need to bring me back next year. Why? Because I don't know the peace, the the peace and joy that I felt here. It's amazing. It's like no word I can describe it. Yes. You have to come and see it yourself. Yes, yes. And what did you take now from Medjugorje? What is Medjugorje now for you? Um, I'll say this. My kids think, mom is when I retire, I'm going to be moved to Medjugorje <laughs> because I always watch your video every day. <laughs> yes. You know, I'm, I'm amazed. <laughs> this. When I do these videos, I think nobody's watching. My, 13, my 12 year old said, mom, you're going to. When we, when you retire, we have to come to Majgori and see you, right? And I was like, I guess so, maybe. And they don't if... say, Mom, can we watch some Netflix tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, nope, and... we are watching Tom. Yep, that, that is, every day. I'm, uh, I'm amazed about that. You know? Yes, we need yes. Some... Yeah. And um, you went to confession here? Yes, I did. What would you tell people now is not to be scared about confession? No, confession, you just relief. You just relief and sometimes, you know, you feel like, you know, oh, I didn't have a good confession or, but, you know, confession. I was the one, I was actually out of um, Catholic for a little while. Why? Um, because um, I married to um, a non-denomination. Mm -hmm. uh, my husband is, mm -hmm. and, uh, but I, I feel very unhappy and uh, when I, I feel like when I go to their, you know, different service and I feel like this, I don't belong here. Mm -hmm. So I came back and the lady brought me back, actually. Uh, so many stories and um, she brought me back and I feel my peace. Now when people look at me and they saw Sumi before and Sumi now, they're like, wow, how did you, what, what did you do? What happening? And um, yeah, I told, what do you tell them? I told Rosary, my lady, my mother, heavenly mother. Maybe this is for Protestant fans that they understand. Also for Catholic, be a priest said, we don't need to do yoga. We have the most um, powerful meditation. It's the rosary. rosary. A very old priest. And adoration. And adoration. Adoration is a big okay. part. And we enjoy the adorations here, especially the outside adoration. Mm -hmm. We both so much, we love it. And uh, I actually sad because we don't have adoration, you know. At home. Uh, but maybe no, no, no. Tonight piece? here. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tomorrow again. Yeah. yeah, but we are leaving in the morning. So. Wow, you leave to you see that's God incidents that you uh, often these videos happen at the last moment. You yeah. Know? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. so, what is so beautiful for you about confession? I was actually, I'm so ashamed to say that when I when I was um, when I was out of from the Catholic, I was. Uh, the last time when I confessed when I was 17. Mm -hmm. Then I, I, I did my confession last year. And I was after, you know, it was like something out of your chest or body, like you're free, you know? So, and... That's how you feel, you feel free, you know, liberated. Mm -hmm. You want to jump around like a deer and hug everybody, you know? Yep. Same experience? Same experience. And our faith says then, then we are in a state of grace, we can receive Holy Communion. Yes. A lot of people seem not to understand what the Eucharist is. Can you explain? Oh, it's just, uh, we are receiving our Jesus Christ to, to body our and body blood. and blood. And real. one of, it's real body and blood. And uh, one of the priests was saying, when we receive the Holy Communion, we are taking that Jesus Christ to other people so that's what I 
Yeah. And that's what people say. You, you're different. Different. <laughs> Why? How did you change? They tell me the same thing. Yeah. Being here now some time, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, you you pray the rosary. I pray every day. Every day, at least four. I keep. Wow. Yep. Why? Mm -hmm. what is My so friend beautiful? too. <laughs> yeah. The friends over there, there they are. Hello, hello. <laughs> nice to see you. She's beautiful. A big thigh. And um, I hope it's okay, this little thing. And um, what would you tell people? Why come to Medjugorje one time? Um, actually, Tom, you're, you're the one who actually... Um, what is it? Like, brought me here because uh, I actually lived through your video in Majgori every day mm -hmm. but then I um, asked my lady like I want to just go whatever the people are saying about the peace and the joy in Majgori I want to feel it myself and um, that's why I here and when I came here I can tell it's I, I'm so sad actually I'm leaving but yeah yeah, I yeah. See you there. yeah. But you come back. She brings you oh, back. I'm 100%. I'm going to come back with my three boys and my husband, hopefully. Yeah, yes. We pray. Yep. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. And we say to the husband, look, you got a more joyful, peaceful woman. But you want more. <laughs> the faith is good. And, yes. and again, you pray four rosaries. What does it mean to you, that prayer? It's, it's a weapon. It's a, a safeguard. Mm -hmm. you know? And... Um, I can feel the difference if I don't pray rosary, I can feel that difference. The enemies, anytime I kind of slow down that, the enemies start punching, punching and getting so in. hard. Yes, yeah. yes. Same with me, I experienced it lately. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. There seems like if you pray, you have a security fence around yes. your heart, no? Yes. You make the same experience? Yes, that lady's um, mantle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Same with me, you know. I, uh, and maybe this for somebody watching now. We watch so many films, YouTube, Netflix, whatever. I stopped it and I put a rosary on. It can be Lourdes, Fatima, wherever you want in America. There are live rosaries. Yep. And mm -hmm. just listen to it, pray it when you cook, whatever you do. Yes. And, yes. and, and be focused. Yes, yes. And how so many now. times I actually um, see the rosary in the Blue Cross Mountain. Some Sometimes uh, one of those um, TV channel mm -hmm. um, and I, we just watch live. Yeah, there's yeah. Luisa mm -hmm. Humeli, I think her name. Something. She does every morning. She brings yeah. in Spanish, the rosary. Yeah. Depending, you can find there's so much online, you know. She's doing a great job. Yeah, and um, <laughs> you know, our, our, our faith is a personal relationship. Do you also talk to Jesus like to a friend? Yes, yes. It's like um, I was telling her the other day, because I don't have any brother, so I always tell Jesus, you are my older brother, so it's your responsible. Wow. <laughs> so he's like my older brother, so. <laughs> you talk to him, but the people would say, man, it's an imagination. But people our can God talk is real. Whatever they want. Is it real? You get answers? Yes. How, yes. how do you get the coincidences? I don't know. It's coincident, but especially when I came to Majgori, yeah. whatever I asking, I am getting in the like right away right away like you ask and you shall receive yes yes i was telling my um friends and sister like in back home i'm calling them I was like oh my god here when i ask uh, him something either today evening or tomorrow morning i'm getting it so yes. you know because like you, you search god and you want to live do you also make the experience when you live in the tension, die will be done, that you're more in peace, more in joy, more that you joy. make that click yes. in your heart. More, more peace and more joy. joy. Same for you. Same. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people can't trust and don't want to live that will because they think God the Father is an angry old man with a white beard and he wants to put us to hell, first mistake, and mm -hmm. it's not true. How is God the Father? Explain. Um, for you, just from the heart. God, I always thing it's like my grandpa or my mm -hmm. you know dad or somebody like yeah, that father, dad. so I always I always um, go to my bro big brother yeah. you know like that's what yeah. she said you can come go through me to him yeah if you're mm -hmm. a bit scared yes uh -huh. but you also made the experience I prayed to God the father said one time please show me that you love me that yeah. you're not distant 
And he showed you as well? Yes, his love? yes, always, always, always. yeah. Anytime when I'm sad, I mean, I need, I need the answer, I need something, and I go to even my home, I yeah. go to adoration, 10, 15 minutes, that's all it takes. My, I am, I get my answer, my, I am in so much peace. That's yes. so important. This is adoration. I want to ask the question you are speaking out yourself. You see, again, it's in the flow because we are both flowing in the spirit. Yeah. And do that. You ask your priest, please, just 15 minutes before the Mass. If there's no vocation, I talk to a lot of people. They say when we do adoration, the parish has changed. Yes. You make the yes. same experience? Yes. 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 Um, uh, the church we go, uh, they have a 24-hour adoration. Yes, and uh, we, we, it's like anytime you can just walk in and it's like so much peaceful when you go to adoration and that church also is like very holy church and uh, um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, like it's amazing. you said, it's mm -hmm. a, it becomes a holy church, a yeah. joyful church, a peaceful yeah. church. The people, everybody is so holy in that church. Yeah. Yes. So do adoration, take that out of this video. What can I say? Thank you for this beautiful oh, video. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you so much. <laughs>